and controversy over a push to raise California's minimum wage to $18 an hour. Supporters of the Living Wage Act are now suing the Secretary of State to put it on the ballot this November, and it comes after the initiative was pushed back to 2024 because of confusion over the deadline to submit signatures. ABC 10 News anchor Aaron Dickens breaks down the details. I can't believe it's, it's, you know, this is going on. It's really sad. It's, it's the United States. How can we be like this? Blanca Arguello says she struggles to put food on the table. Arguello lives in a one-bedroom apartment with her two sons. She works at a local grocery store and makes $17 an hour. I'm stressed out because, you know, I, I don't have money. We're still saving for the rent. We don't have the money yet. Arguello hopes the Living Wage Act, an initiative to raise the minimum wage in California to $18 per hour, will be on the ballot this November. The Living Wage Act attained over 1 million signatures of Californians who want to put it on the 2022 ballot. And that is enough signatures to get the initiative on the ballot. But Joe Sandberg, the initiative's principal backer, says there was confusion about the deadline. He says Secretary of State Shirley Weber's office told counties they had until July 13th to submit qualified signatures. But the real deadline was June 30th. It's honest mistakes, you know, I, I think extremely highly of Secretary of State Dr. Weber. Our state agencies are staffed with people who are working hours that are too long for wages that are too low. Sandberg says the initiative is now qualified for the 2024 ballot. Raising minimum wage from $15 to $18 an hour would give a full-time employee an extra $6,000 every year before taxes. Arguello says any kind of raise would help. For you guys, a dollar is not nothing for us. It's our food on the table. Aaron Dickens, ABC 10 News. A lawsuit was filed to push the ballot measure to this.